Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. <clears throat> Glammy, what are we going to do today? Eyeshadow. Yes, we are. And today is the last day. Um, This is the Arabesque. 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 Palette by Bad Habit is a dupe for the Beverly Hills Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the ABH, um, I think it's the Glam, Soft Glam Palette. I've really been pretty happy with this. Um, you do have to remember to tap off the brush, because if you don't tap off the brush, ooh, you're going to get too much, so yeah. But, you know, this is like, I think it's $20 or less as compared to, I don't know, like 50 or 60 for the Beverly Hills palette. And to tell you the truth, when I feel this, it has a nicer consistency and feel to it than the Beverly Hills palette does. So, um... I'm kind of preferring this one, although I do not, nor have I ever, owned uh, the Beverly Hills palettes. Oh, golly. Um, if this video just cuts out for absolutely no reason, it's because I did a lot of videos today, and my... Uh, I'm going to use this right here for my crease shade. But, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of storage on the phone. So, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. One day I will have an actual camera and an actual, you know, laptop, computer, whatever. But, you know, for now, what I have is a phone that <clears throat> does not have enough storage for the amount of apps that I need for, like, editing and so forth. So, you know, yeah, it's YouTube and one game. I play Best Fiends. I just, it cracks me up. I think it's a riot. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know, I mean, yeah, text, phone, I do have, like, uh, Instagram and Facebook, and, uh, I've started, although it's not every single one, but if you look in the descriptions, um, I've been trying to put my... Instagram and what's the other one? My email and uh, my address, my physical mailing address. Um, in the description box. So, you know, if you feel like you want to send me a message, get a hold of me, whatever, you know, please keep it positive. If it's not positive, well, it's Oh, well, you know, that's on you. Um, but, yeah. I'm not really worried about giving out my address. Because I live rural route. Newberry is, covers a lot of area. And I don't live in town. So, yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. Um, I want to try and go for a little less crazy look, but you guys know that never seems to turn out for me, but, mm, okay, um, <sighs> so I think what I'm going to do is, wow, is that, oh, that is really pretty, but not what I want for this look, um, what about this? These feel so nice. It's just incredible. Um, 
All right, first I'm going to start with this. And then I'm going to take this one and kind of blend into it. So, yeah, I starting with the darker and going to the lighter and see how that works out. Um, and really trying to not get too dark, which you guys know is not real easy for me. So, you know, because I just, I don't want it to be, I don't know, maybe I should like just stay in the lid area to begin with. I don't know. Just doing kind of the crease and that outer triangle. This really, it's very blendable, but like, and it's soft, which, you know, that's why there's so much fallout. But if you just remember, <clears throat> I remember to tap off the brush, then the fallout is like pretty much non-existent. I just have to remember to tap off the brush. Okay, going in with that lighter shade now. And just kind of putting that like in the center of that and working it upwards. Just blending. I don't know. I'm kind of going for, I don't know what I'm going for. Don't know. I don't know. You know, something that like... You don't have to be brave or crazy or, you know, whatever to pull it off. Just the, these light kind of tans and browns and mustardy colors. A lot of blending. Wow. See, I love those, like, orangish. I don't know. I just really like that. This is my Vasante brush. I think we... I had a discussion here recently about the Vasante lip crayon. You know, this is just, this is a super nice brush. And between that and the lippy, I am just convinced that, you know, whatever Vasante comes my way, I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so now I am going... Or the lid. What are we going to do with the lid? Um. Hmm. Tell you the truth, I think I'm going to use this kind of a. I'm not sure what it is. Kind of a light pinkish, tannish color. And this gold color right next to it. Um. So, yeah, I'm hitting the shimmer. You know, yeah. Did you guys have any doubt that I was not going to hit the shimmer um, using these detail brushes? I love the detail brushes. Love them. All right, going with the, the kind of pinkish color first. And I'm just going to do like the inside. Actually, that's not right. I'm just going to do the whole lid because I already started out with the inside. So, just do the entire lid. Hmm. Now, see, I'm going to go with the gold to add a little flair to it, but... Really, if you didn't want to add some flair to it, I think that you could just quit right here. You guys know me. I got to keep going until I, like, have so many colors on here it's insane. Or I completely ruin the look. Ooh, I had a little fallout with that one, so... It was like just a little, and I just put on concealer too, so it should just ooh, blow away. Okay, so actually, 
that's not bad right there. But y'all know who I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna take that gold that I was talking about. I'm actually going to use the smaller of the angle brushes on the detail brushes. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gold and it's gonna go right on the inner corner and just kind of blend with that pink to make sort of a little bit of a rose gold on the inner corner that runs into the you know more rose on the rest of the eye so Woohoo! Okay, not bad. And ah, all right. Nope. I'm gonna use my flat brush from uh, Alamar, and I'm gonna go back to this. Not the very first shade, but the second one here that I used to, to blend into that very first shade. Just gonna take a little bit on this brush and we're gonna just kind of go underneath on the outside area and sort of drag some of that other color into it so yeah so much for the simple right I mean really you don't have to do this either you you were good at the pink the three colors you know, the crease, blending into the crease, and the pink was fine. You just, y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I am? I just, I must. I must. I must keep going. Okay, and use my little spot to dot. This is the little kind of just a dome, but it's very tiny. And I'm going to go into... I think that this is like, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to do something different. I am going to use my Rodeo Drive from Ofra. And that is what I'm going to use on my little spot the dot. Woo-wee, that's Purdy, purdy, purdy. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put a little of that. Yeah, because, you know, I can't just not get carried away with the Rodeo Drive. Because, yeah. Y'all know who I am. I wanted to do a rainbow look, but it's going to take a really long time. Because I have a serious idea running around in my head that's, you know, kind of insane. And, um, so I think that's going to have to wait until next week when I've got a little more, uh, a little more space on the phone to store a video like that. I'm going to put on some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, I think it's back. I hope it's back. It looks like it's back. Alright, I'm using the Deuce, Deuce? D-O-U-C-C-E eyeliner that we received in uh, our Ipsy bag, the regular $10 bag. And I am using my Ico Mascara, which I am really, I'm really liking this. I'm thinking Ico is getting to be like one of my favorite brands. So I may have to check into this brand and see just what all they make I mean because their eyeliner is my all-time favorite it just it lasts it's good you put it on it's there until you take it off um, so really happy with that the eyeshadow the arabesque 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 uh, palette by bad habit which is as seen here it's a beautiful um was sent to me by mm, mm, 
I'm never going to get her name right. Is it Mrs. Glam? I'm, I, you know, I'm such a ditz. Seriously. Anyway, she sent me a whole boatload of stuff. There's another video on that. It's awesome. And so I've been doing some tutorials with this because she, you know, has one of her own. And you know, sent me this so that I could do some tutorials with it, and I just really, you can do some crazy stuff, or you can do some tame stuff, and this is, well, for me, this is tame. <laughs> um, like I said, you could have just stopped with the pink and been fine, but, you know me, I gotta keep on going, ooh, so, yes, really enjoying this, thank you, um, I do think that if you're gonna spend your money on a palette and you can find one that's a dupe that's like this decent quality, you can make it work for you, you know, yeah, it's got some fallout, but it's soft, and most soft pigments have fallout. That's how that works. Um, you know, tap off your brush and you're good to go. Uh, really, really enjoying this. Now, when I go to work tomorrow, I'll be at work for two nights and I usually take something with me to, you know, do some videos while I'm there. So I'm going to take this. It's called Dope 2. This is a dupe for the Manny MUA. I got a spider or something on me. I've been outside working, you know. Um, the Manny MUA Lights a Drag uh, palette. So, yeah, I'm going to be really having some fun with this. I hope this white is good because when I do things like, like, you know, sometimes I'll do things for uh, Christmas or whatever, and it's not just a look. It's more of a costumey type thing. So it's nice to have, like, a white and a black that are really... You know, and a red that are really, you know, stand-up pigment and not just for blending. Although, you know, the, the white and the black for blending are also good, too. But, yeah, I'm going to take this one with me in my backpack on my bike. And, you know, we're going to try this one out while I'm at work. This one I'm going to put up for a little while because I've actually used everything in it. And, um, I've... I've done it a few times and really my impression of this palette is I the only one I ran into that I really didn't like was the black which I don't really use black and that was probably my fault because I forgot to tap off the brush and I got way too much on my eyes and like just went Wah! goth girl from hell you know so yeah my bad but other than that I really like that palette. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, as long as there's no ingredients in there that obviously is going to be made with some cheaper things because, you know, they have to do that to sell it for a cheaper price. Check out the ingredients, make sure there's nothing in there that, you know, is going to affect you adversely, and <clears throat> it looks like a good one to me. Yep. So, it is Glam Goat Approved. <laughs> and <clears throat> if you're already a subscriber, hey, thank you so much for, you know, <clears throat> following along and being here through all this journey. And, you know, the beginning was like <laughs> really bad. It now isn't that great, but it was really bad at the beginning. Oh, but always pink. Yes, but always pink, because I really like pink. Ooh, little pink princess dragon. So, <clears throat> if you'd like to, you know, come along on this journey, dry skin, checking out different products, you know, um, 
I do some unboxings, you know, I just do a lot of different things, some comparison things, you know, uh, hit that subscription button. Please hit the like button, it really helps the channel to get a little ratings boost. Drop me a comment, even if you just drop an emoji, any comment, again, helps the channel with our ratings. Yay! Uh, you know... Let me know how you feel about dupe palettes. Do you think it's okay to make a duplicate palette that's cheaper? Um, or do you feel like that's not okay? Um, you know, let me know how you, how you feel about that. Uh, notifications. I've been uploading quite a bit, so... If you want to see every video, you better hit that notifications and hit all. Go through your options. If you can't take six videos a week, I totally, and sometimes there's more, I totally understand, you know, hit the occasional and you'll get like one or two a week. Um, you know, they'll just be random. <clears throat> and you can also hit, you know, no notifications because I know a lot of people are like me. You have a lot of subscriptions that you follow, and if you had all of them coming up in the notifications, honey, you would have nothing on your phone or your computer except YouTube notifications. So, um, you know, you can always go to your YouTube home channel, hit that center icon, and as long as you're subscribed, you know, all of your subscribe subscription YouTube videos will come up in there you know the, the the most recent ones so you know you can always find us there and you know we'll be waiting for you to watch so until the next time i hope you wake up dancing every single day Bye bye <laughs>